Hello, everybody. This is Patrick and Bryson Higgins with Stone Security. Today's webisode, we are going to be uh, looking at building views in Milestone in the Smart Client. And um, without further ado, I'm going to turn the time over to Bryson Higgins, uh, support engineer with Stone Security. Hey, thanks, Patrick. All right, yeah, so I'm going to walk you through uh, building views in the smart client. Um, and basically how we're going to have this set up today is it's going to be brand new system, so straight out of the box um, and how we would get started from there. So first off, uh, after I have everything set up and configured, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, logged into the smart client. And what I mean by set up and configured is by adding cameras to the system and ready for us to start viewing them and setting up views. So once I'm logged into the smart client here, I'll be presented pretty much with a blank screen. It'll look probably just like this right here with no sidebar or anything like that when you first log in for the very first time. Um, what we'll want to do to start building out our views is we'll open up the side panel here. You'll see there's no views in here. So we'll want to enter into setup mode. So if we go ahead and hit setup right here in the lower right hand side, this will then put us into basically the builder of the smart client where we can configure and change settings and everything um, and basically build out everything. So right here, you'll notice we have two different groups. So we have our default group, which is a view group that was assigned to me from the system administrator and then a private group. The private group is one that is personal to me and my login. So you noticed as I logged into the system, I was logging in under the user basic user Bryson. So that private folder is assigned to Bryson um, basic user. So anywhere I log into the system, the views that are associated with this private view group folder will actually go with me. The default group is a group that is assigned through the management client, and it is uh, it, it is uh, a group that it can be shared out among many users or a single user, depending on how your system is configured. But in order for us to get started to actually put cameras on the view here for us to be able to see them, we'll actually need to create another group, another group or another folder. So you have our default group and our private group, and I'm going to go ahead and build them in the default group here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new group by clicking that, and I can also do the same thing by right clicking as well. So I can right click and do new group, or I can use the toolbar down here. What's nice about using the toolbar here is you'll notice here my only option when I'm selected on this view group is to create a new group. When I click on the folder here that I just created, you'll see my options change. So you can see here, I now have the option to create a new view, to rename this, delete this, or to copy this as well. I can copy this entire folder. So go ahead and rename this, and we're going to go ahead and call this a demo for right now for this, this purpose right here. And we can name this whatever we like, and we can build out lots of different groups as well too. So if I wanted to, I actually could make more sense here, and I could do like exterior cameras, and I can make another group here. Actually, my apologies, I don't want to make that inside of that group, but I can make that um, right here as well, and I can make an interior group here as well. So I can make these two folders here, and now I can come in and I can make a view. So I can go ahead and click create, uh, create new view. So, and, and then I have my, I'm presented with my options here for different types of layouts. And you'll see on the left-hand side of each one of these, there's a little bit of a preview window. Uh, depending on what your, uh, your system administrator decides, they'll let you decide on how many of these you can see. Sometimes some of these are taken away due to system limitations and stuff like that. As you can see here, I have a view that goes 10 by 10 for 100 different cameras on there. For now, for this, I'm just going to do a nice two by two view. So this will allow me with four camera views right here. And I can go ahead and I can name this um, whatever for now. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'll actually just leave it default, the new view there. And once I have that made, I can now come down into my system overview and I'm able to then add cameras. So here's the name of my server. And I can expand that out there and they'll see I have my list of cameras inside of here and I have two cameras that I can add to this view. So I go ahead and I can drag and drop these into here. So I can drag this one into here and I can drag this one into here as well. And I can put them anywhere I want on here. And once I've put them on the view, I can actually reorganize them as well by uh, dragging them around by clicking the name. So I can click the name here and I can drag them from multiple spots. I can switch them between two different spots here to switch them around as well. So these are my two cameras that I have to play with right now. Um, and I can, uh, besides cameras, I can add a couple of other things as well too. So those are my cameras. I also have a camera navigator as well, which allows me to navigate through my system. Um, this isn't configured right now, so I'm not going to work on that, but um, 
I also have carousel as well. That's a whole other video in of itself, camera navigator, but uh, carousel as well. So what this will allow me to do is I can put this on a view pane right here and I can actually come in and add my cameras and they are going to rotate between those. So I'll go ahead and set here and this is my default rotation is 10 seconds and I can define that down here in the lower left. And I can also reorganize this or spec this one at a different time. So say I only want this one to be on the screen for five seconds. That's a carousel view there. The next one is a hotspot. So this is what allows me what a hotspot does. It actually works in live uh, view and in playback and any view I click on will actually send to that view there. It's really great in certain aspects and I'll show you that in a, in a, in a little bit. I can also add an HTML page so I can add a web page into here. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and throw a Google search window right there if I wanted so I could actually search the internet <laughs> through my smart client. I've seen people use this to uh, browse to a a uh, time clock or something like that so they can get you know their time synchronized on a large view there. I've also seen them put their company web page there before as well or a Twitter there too so they can monitor Twitter as well right in their smart client. We can also put a static image as well here so I can go ahead and drag and drop an image here and I can come into uh, anywhere I have images stored on my computer. So for here, I'm going to go into here and I'll just go ahead and throw one of these up here. Bryson, is the four by or the two by two that you're on, is that a pretty typical view for most most administrators yeah, in Milestone? Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty decent size view. It depends on how many cameras you have in your system. So uh, really, it, it really comes down to how many cameras you want to look at at one time, as well as what your computer can handle as well. That's a great question. So, cool. but it Thanks. is, yeah, it is, it is a good starting point as well. If you have if you have more than four cameras, obviously you can build out different types of views for that as well. So and, and we can do that here. We can make lots of different uh, layout here. So if to, sh to demonstrate the hotspot view, one that's really popular is this like one plus 11 here. So we can come in and we can put our hotspot view here. And if I had 11 cameras, I could throw them around here. But for now, I'm just going to put these two cameras over and over again and that's one where you just click on you just simply click on the camera off to the right yeah. or on the bottom and it just pulls up into the hotspot window yeah exactly so um i'll show that here in live in just a second so here we go we have that same camera over and over again so i hit setup mode to go back to the live right here and so now anywhere i click here it's gonna make that the larger view there for me Awesome. That's really helpful. Thanks. Yeah. No problem. So that's the that's the hotspot there. And then a couple other things we can add in here as well too. Besides an image, you can actually throw a map into here as well too. But uh, we don't have any maps on the system, and that's again a video for a whole other uh, a whole other video there. A matrix window, whole other video there as well too. For the most part though, uh, you'll be adding in cameras and stuff. We can also throw a text box in here as well. I see this done a lot as well too, where they put a message here as well for say on their uh, screen into their secretary's office or something like that. So that it sits there and has a message like there that says, please check in or, or something along those lines. Um, um, these camera views that I'm using here are actually just video images, so I apologize. Yeah, so you can see here, this is just rotating between those cameras on this one here. This is our car carousel view, so we can actually pause it and it'll stay on this camera and, and stay here indefinitely, or we can play it and then it'll continue to rotate through. We have our next camera options. We can rotate through those as quickly as we wanted or previous as well as well, too. So that's pretty much it in building a view. It's really easy to do and um, really straightforward. So hopefully that's that really helps. Cool. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much, Bryce. And yeah, so if anybody has any questions, um, our support team, you can reach uh, really quick support at stonesecurity.net um, and help you build custom views, whatever you need. And um, thanks, everybody.